It's to come right here at Britain Towers to speak to the group CEO and MD Tom Gitogo. Now they just released their half year results, which is quite impressive. 193% profit after tax, which is compared to last year's. And I'm here to understand uh, what is whether they are doing to continue on with this sustainability and of course what is in it for the customer and the shareholders. Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again. And uh, a few months back, we were here discussing about your full year results of 2022. And the first thing is that you categorically put it that you were hopeful and you knew very well that you're not also prone to the headwinds that are there. And we are right now in the midst of quite a number of things, especially to your customers who are now facing quite some pressure. But first of all, let's look at your results, which did tremendously well, 193% increase in pre-tax profit compared to your previous year. And I wanted to ask you, how are you feeling about these results and what are some of the drivers uh, that brought to this performance? They were pleasing results. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see that uh, the strategy that we are employing as a group is working, yeah. not just here in Kenya, but in the region as yeah. well, because as you know, we are in seven countries uh, in the region. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely working. Yeah. Our partnerships with uh, various uh, bodies out there, like telcos, banks, and so on, mm -hmm. is bearing fruit. And some of the measures we've taken in the space of innovation, yeah. our customer centricity mm -hmm. is certainly bearing fruit. So okay. to answer you, the, yeah. the results were quite pleasing. Great, it's good to know that. And of course, it's also very good for your shareholders. You know, one of the key things that people would be concerned about is sustainability of such good results and such growth. And one of the key things that I would want to ask you is, what have you put in place to ensure? Because once you do good, people always expect you to keep doing that. What are you doing to ensure that you sustain this? One of the things we have done very well mm -hmm. is we have learned to be efficient. Okay. So we don't expect that mm -hmm. our operations will be less inefficient than they are now. Mm -hmm. If anything, mm -hmm. we expect our efficiency muscle yeah. to continue growing. So we are able to do business, mm -hmm. uh, grow the top line without a corresponding increase mm -hmm. in our costs. Okay. Uh, we have continued to implement systems mm -hmm. that increase efficiency mm -hmm. and uh, some of the partnerships we have, mm -hmm. we are doing them with people who mm -hmm. have mastered their skill. Okay. So for example, when we go into the microinsurance space or emerging consumers as uh, we call them, yeah. we have purposely mm -hmm. partnered with mm -hmm. telcos, okay. the safaricoms of this world okay. and airtels of this world. Okay to ensure that we are reaching mm -hmm. uh, a growing number of customers affordably. All right. Tom, I'd like you to elaborate a bit more on um, your partnership because I saw quite some activity, especially on the road shows and all that. And I'm curious, are the people on the ground, which is really in line with the government's agenda, are they taking this up? Yes, we have seen a significant growth mm -hmm. in our customer numbers. Okay. Uh, when we have gone into partnerships with uh, the telcos, for example, okay. with banks and uh, so on, mm -hmm. uh, with startups and insurtechs, mm -hmm. uh, because they are good in what they do. Okay. And um, uh, if you take telcos, for example, mm -hmm. uh, any transaction um, that they have, if we can embed insurance, because we, we are nowhere near mm -hmm. optimizing that. Yeah. Uh, but the little we have done, mm -hmm. we have seen our numbers grow significantly. Okay. Before we discuss a bit more on your numbers, I'm curious to ask you, are you concerned? I think that's the best word to use, especially in this particular season where we have a bit of increased pressure, talking of you know increased uh, rates, uh, cost of living as well. And I'm sure this as well has an effect to your customer. I don't know, what's in your mind on this? There's no doubt that our customers' wallets yeah. are being squeezed mm -hmm. by inflation in the first instance, and also by an increasing cost of living outside of the normal insurance uh, inflation that as we know it. So we need to make sure that our products and services are relevant mm -hmm. so that they're not the first thing a customer throws out yeah. when they experience pressure on their finances or on their 
wallets. So the key word here is A, we must make our services, and we are constantly doing that as Britam, mm -hmm. relevant okay. and uh, applicable to the daily lives of our customers. So that insurance begin, begins to be seen mm -hmm. as a financial instrument rather than as a cost. Okay. To some of your numbers, the half year results, your regional general insurance business contributed quite significantly to the entire gross earnings. And I wanted to know what are the strategies that you're employing to achieve this particular growth? Okay. Yeah. Any business mm -hmm. looks at diversifying its revenue streams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although the contribution by our regional businesses continues to grow, it's mm -hmm. currently about 30%. Okay. We would want that to grow to 50% so that as a group, we are not too dependent mm -hmm. on our results here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. That is not to say we are not looking to grow in Kenya. In mm -hmm. fact, our aspirations for growth within Kenya mm -hmm. are quite high and ambitious. Okay. But that does not necessarily occur in isolation to growing the business from the region. Mm -hmm. At the moment, a lot of the businesses in the region are general insurance okay. businesses. Mm -hmm. We are known uh, for our life business prowess here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So one of our growth areas uh, that is obvious mm -hmm. is that we must move towards doing life business okay. in some of these other countries mm -hmm. as and when it becomes appropriate. We agree that not all of them are ready for individual life or ordinary life business, mm -hmm. uh, retail life, yeah. but they are ready for credit life, for group life. Okay. And they will businesses, especially the SMEs, mm -hmm. also need services that are currently uh, in the life uh, space. Our investment business, mm -hmm. uh, our asset management business, currently we are doing very well in Uganda. Some of the other markets are getting ripe mm -hmm. for that sort of business. So you can see there are avenues uh, that we have seen as Britain uh, for growth mm -hmm. in the region as we march towards diversifying our reliance on the Kenyan businesses mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, total overall okay. group results. I'm sure you're privy to this because I speak sometimes, uh, especially to bank CEOs, and they are also constantly thinking about diversifying. Yeah. And one of the banks told me that they have conceded significantly over the last few years to get into the insurance industry as much as they can. This is a concern to you. <laughs> It's, um, there's two sides to it. Uh -huh. The penetration of insurance is quite low. Okay. And uh, the more players we have, and the deeper pocketed ones like banks, mm -hmm. can only be uh, useful to the, you know, increasing their awareness okay. uh, and diversifying the service provision and products within the industry. So in that regard, mm -hmm. I am pleased rather than worried. Okay. Of course, there is a tendency to go for low-hanging fruits. Mm -hmm. So some of the mistakes I think banks will make is to try and compete with us for, okay. the, for existing business. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that that is not what they are planning to do because if they do that, of course, we are better at it than they are. Mm -hmm. But we welcome them okay. and invite them to work with us to explore the untapped 97% uh, of big, insurance that's uh, penetration. One. So the more the merrier and the more deep pocketed, the better. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So your improved insurance underwriting performance was mentioned as well in your results and I wanted to shed some light on the specific initiatives or factors that contributed to this improvement. So one of the efficiencies is coming from doing more mm -hmm. with the same infrastructure. Yeah. In other words, if mm -hmm. I take the region for example, mm -hmm. we took our time deliberately to improve the quality of the business there. Okay. Now once we had that bended down, mm -hmm. we now went full throttle to grow the top line. Okay. So when you grow the top line without growing the middle, mm -hmm. i.e. Mm -hmm. using the same infrastructure to distribute more, yeah. efficiencies come through. The other thing we have done is we are leaning on innovation mm -hmm. and working with partnerships mm -hmm. so that with our partners, mm -hmm. we are obviously sharing the distribution costs. Yeah. Because when you approach an organization that already has a good portfolio of clients, mm -hmm. a 
acquiring those clients or providing insurance services to such a group mm. is not as expensive yeah. as a greenfield yeah. or coalescing these potential customers yourself. So some of the efficiencies are coming through because of how we have chosen to work. If an organization is an expert in a certain sector of the economy, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense for Britam to invest in acquiring the same level yeah. of uh, competence mm -hmm. in that industry mm -hmm. or in that sector of the economy. Mm -hmm. If we can work with that organization, yeah. it helps the organization keep its clients uh, because this is value add yeah. and it also helps us access those customers and give them uh, additional insurance services. So our model of working mm -hmm. has helped. Yeah. Then obviously uh, one of the other things we have done is that uh, we have constantly engaged our clients mm -hmm. uh, so that we meet their changing needs. Mm -hmm. When you're providing uh, a customer with something that is relevant to their life, mm -hmm. then of course you will grow your top line. If right. you grow your top line, mm -hmm. you are underwriting, uh, and if you do it at the right rating, and uh, so the competition or undercutting of premiums does not come into play because you yeah. are providing a service that is really relevant to the life and yeah. ecosystem of our customer, sure. then you will have underwriting profits. That Certainly. is what we have done. Certainly. Let's talk about your investment portfolio and your income in your diversification. The investment income saw a notable increase. And I'm curious to know some of the details on your investment. And why I'm asking this is because I have seen our other peers in the industry as well share away from some of the instruments that are quite traditional in terms of investing. We could talk even about shares and the likes. But yours has kept growing. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> KTN News. Get the whole story. If you want to be free and live like a child again, why stress about germs? Everyday use of Dettol keeps my loved ones protected. More than 5,000 government services on eCitizen. Whether you are applying for a passport, driving license, or any other government service, you can now pay using your Visa card from any bank. Avoid the lengthy process of transferring money from the bank to your mobile wallet. Instead, pay directly from your Visa card and enjoy safe, fast, and convenient transaction. Terms and conditions apply. Air Profile, brought to you by DSTV Kenya. Marcus Rashford, position, forward, country, England. Date of birth, 31st October 1997. Marcus Rashford is an English professional footballer. He plays as a forward for Premier League club Manchester United and the England national team. Watch the Premier League matches on DSTV Supersport Premier League Channel 223. If you want to be free and live like a child again, why stress about germs? If you must worry, then worry about winning. Why worry about germs? When you come home, bring tales and stories. Why bringing germs? Shield your families from germs. When dental is a part of every household bucket, then you and your family can stay protected from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Everyday use of dental keeps my loved ones protected. Keep your toilets clean. I use normal detergent and bleach for washing. The detergent and bleach cleanless can leave behind yellowness, rust, and germs. Habix 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergents and bleach. And kills 99.9% .9 illness causing germs in your toilet, including the COVID 19 virus. KTN News. Get the whole story. We have been deliberate yeah. about restructuring our investment mm -hmm. portfolio. Mm -hmm. uh, if I take our life business, for example, yeah. it has a long-term uh, tenure in terms of... So if 
uh, for example, a customer takes out an education policy for 15 years. Mm -hmm. That's a long-term uh, policy. Yeah. So we have been deliberate about matching our investments mm -hmm with the liabilities, okay. uh, i.e. the policies that we issue. Mm -hmm. So a significant part of our bond portfolio is now held to maturity. Mm -hmm. That means we are not trading in a significant portfolio of our bonds. So mm -hmm. we don't have to mark them to market okay. every uh, end of uh, reporting season. Mm -hmm. What that does is it insulates mm -hmm. that portfolio from the varying uh, dynamics in the market. Yeah. We've seen interest rates uh, shoot up. Mm -hmm. You won't believe it, but uh, we are in a unique si situation yeah. where our short-term interest rates at the moment mm -hmm. are higher than some of the long-term oh. uh, interest rate mm -hmm. instruments. Yeah. So you have a yield curve mm -hmm. that has a blob mm. at the front yeah. and then a continuation of a normal yield curve. Okay. That wrecks havoc mm -hmm. to a bond portfolio yeah. that is purely or entirely mm -hmm. a mark to market or available for sale yeah. investment uh, uh, portfolio. So by matching deliberately our investments to the ri uh, risk profile mm -hmm. of our liabilities, mm -hmm. that has uh, insulated us from a significant yo-yoing nature okay. of investment income. Okay. The other thing we have done mm -hmm. is we have been deliberate uh, on our property portfolio. Okay. A lot of our uh, properties now, mm -hmm. uh, if you take our center, for example, yeah. uh, Brit Britam Tower, yeah. it is uh, uh, entirely occupied at the moment. Wow. So okay. that good. obviously mm -hmm. has helped improve and uh, uh, our investment income wow. and made it uh, steady as well. Yeah. I love that and congratulations on that as well. I think last time you were still at some percentage hoping to have full yes, occupancy. Yes, we were yeah. at about 80%. Yeah. I'm happy to say we are now at uh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are looking to get space in Britam Tower, yeah. I'm sorry. Just wait. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Okay, operating expenses ratio at 30%, quite commendable as well. Any measures and practices that you have put in place to maintain this at that? So one of the things that uh, we have done is, uh, I, I mentioned earlier, yeah. is working with organizations, yes. working with partners. Our strategy, mm -hmm. uh, if I can actually touch it on yes. it, yes. is EPIC squared. Mm -hmm. oh. E mm -hmm. is for our employees and our financial advisors. Okay. We look after them, mm -hmm. they look after our business, and they look after our customers. Okay. It sounds simple, but it is also deep and profound. Yeah. P in mm -hmm. the epic is partnerships and digital mm -hmm. distribution. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our expense uh, efficiency yeah. has come from digital distribution yeah. because it's you can do more cheaply. Mm -hmm. uh, we intend to continue doing that. Mm -hmm. We will work with insurtechs or any startups that are experts in a certain digital uh, distribution platform. Mm -hmm. We don't have to invest in those platforms as Britain if mm -hmm. we can work with someone who is an expert there. Mm -hmm. So that has brought our uh, costs down yeah. mm -hmm. and because we will do more of that, mm -hmm. it has worked for us so there's no need to change, mm -hmm. so we will do more of that. Mm -hmm. We expect that our expense ratio uh, will be sub 30 okay. uh, in the not too distant mm -hmm. future. The I is innovation mm -hmm. because we have been innovative in some of the ways we do uh, our uh, business, yeah. which again brings down costs yeah. when you cut out processes that were there previously for okay. whatever reason mm -hmm. but are not relevant uh, yeah. today. And then obviously being customer centric okay. uh, is the first C. And then the second C, because I said epic C squared, yes, C squared, is conduct. We are mindful about how we do our business. Yeah. We want to be fair to the environment. Mm -hmm. We want to be fair uh, to our customers and um, all our stakeholders. Okay. Treat the, everyone right, including the environment. And that's partly why uh, Britain is big on ESG. Okay. And I'm sure we will end with uh, what you're doing on the ESG part. Um, yeah. But of course, great... Uh, Epic square, <laughs> if yeah. I may call that, in terms yeah. of your strategy. There was one dot here on a decline, I think, on your net fair value losses from equities and government securities. 
and it was noted in your results. Yes. Could you elaborate on your strategies used to mitigate this and yes. such losses? Yeah. Now, for um, an organization our size, yeah. uh, we have a huge uh, portfolio. Yeah. You cannot have all your bonds, for example, yeah. uh, as held to maturity. Mm -hmm. So you'll still have um, a significant part yeah. that is uh, available for sale or marked to market. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you have a, a bond mm -hmm. that is f has a coupon rate of 13% or 14%, yeah. you are laughing all the way to the bank yes. this time last year. Mm. But at the moment, <laughs> the last few issues have been northwards of 15%. 15, 16. In fact, 16, 17 yeah. percent. Mm -hmm. Almost 17 percent in the right. last issue. Yeah. So what that does mm. is it makes your beautiful, wonderful 14 percent bond loss making now because You're of right. the 3 percent right. margin. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, crudely speaking. Mm -hmm. But actually that's what happens. Yeah. So you, you cannot avoid a fair value loss okay. because some of the bonds you hold mm -hmm. are marked to market mm -hmm. and we have seen our market yo-yo. Oh, right. um, the, the other reason obviously is you can't have all your investments in government boards for example. Mm -hmm. So we are exposed to the uh, listed uh, stocks on the uh, stock exchange You're right. and we have seen uh, values mm -hmm. or prices yeah. of most of the stocks, yeah. pretty much all the stocks mm -hmm. on the Nairobi Securities Exchange yeah. drop. Yeah. So again, that's a fair value loss. Right. But what we have done mm -hmm. is uh, we have uh, looked at and uh, deliberately structured our portfolio mm -hmm. so that the exposure we have mm -hmm. to these fair value uh, losses mm -hmm. is significantly reduced yeah. compared to years past. Okay.